if you're not coming up with the number satisfactory to the board, then board says, what kind of CEO are you? Maybe we should be looking for somebody else. Or we feel that, okay, you have done a good job, but can we do better than this next year? What do you need? So we make arrangements so that we can do better than this. That's the difference between a social business and a profit-making business. And many other companies became interested. We have Grameen Veolia. Veolia is a water company, another French company, to bring water in the villages of Bangladesh. Bangladesh has a very serious problem of water because of arsenic. Uh, we have about 42 to 45 million people who drink arsenic-contaminated water. Their children drink poison every day, and no solution has been found yet. So we thought maybe we should make our small effort to do that, see if we can find a way. So we created this water company to make water very cheap, to recover the cost so that the company uh, recovers its cost and continues. And it's working very well. And that's also subject of this book that I've discussed. And then German company became interested, BASF, is the largest, probably the, one of the largest company in, the, uh, in chemical company in the world. Uh, they became interested, they contacted us to do a social business, and we, after a long discussion, we created one, and that is Grameen BSF. We produce, uh, started, we'll start the produ production at the end of the year, but the, now the uh, factory is being built, to produce uh, mosquito nets, treated mosquito nets, so that uh, people can sleep under mosquito nets and, and the mosquito population reduces. Uh, and people protect themselves from malaria and dengue, which is uh, uh, a big killer in Bangladesh. So this is, again, a health intervention. Uh, another company, a German company, Adidas, uh, they became interested and uh, invited me to their headquarters to discuss this. What is this social business? How do we do social business? So uh, when the CEO asked me that question, I said, maybe we should um, come up with some kind of mission statement for the company, which will, uh, the social business can flow from that. Said, such as what? What kind of um, mission statement can we make? So I said, maybe it can be like this. Nobody in the world should go without shoes. And as a shoe company, it's our responsibility to make shoes affordable to the, even to the poorest person. So he looks at me, he said, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, uh, Adidas is big. <laughs> so if you don't take big things, who will? So what he did, he convened a, a kind of brainstorming session with his colleagues. Well, he, he sent me out to see the, their museums and fa facilities and so on. <laughs> Three hours later, we join in, in the lunch. At the lunch time, he was sitting next to me. He said, my colleagues asked me to ask you how cheap the shoes should be <laughs> in order to be affordable to the poorest person. I said, look, I'm not a shoe person. <laughs> but uh, let's say it should be under one euro. So he again, he looks at me, he says, you are very tough. <laughs> I said, well, that's the way it should be. I mean, if you're trying to do something affordable to the poorest person, you start with the bare minimum and see how close you can get. So again, they had a discussion, and finally at the end, they called me in and said, we are deciding that we'll take your challenge and we'll do it. So out of that, created, we created the Grameen Adidas company, and they have sent lots of their staff to come to Bangladesh to see, uh, talk to the women in the villages, children in the villages, men in the villages, to see what kind of shoes they ever wear or in the past, how much they paid, what was good, what was bad, what kind of shoes they would like. And they have done all these studies and designed shoes, showed them how, the, is the, is, does it look good? And after that, they uh, now next month, probably uh, they will August, they will bring um, 10,000 pairs of shoes designed after this discussion and test for test marketing. After the test marketing, they'll get all, more feedback, concrete feedback now. And then they'll go back to the drawing board again, adjust them, and then set up a plant in Bangladesh to produce the shoes in a massive, massive scale so that uh, everybody can afford to wear shoes. Here, the shoe is again a health issue. It's not a fashion, it's not a comfort, which is important, but the basic need is a uh, health issue because many of our diseases come to the skin of our feet, particularly parasitic diseases. Uh, and if you see the bloated stomach of children running around in the village, you know it's, uh, all the parasites he's carrying around or she's carrying around and killing uh, everything uh, he or she eats uh, is goes to feed them rather than feed him. 
so, uh, so this, if we can help people wear shoes all the time, uh, they will protect themselves from those diseases and so on. So we have created lots of those uh, uh, companies already. We have Japanese companies coming up, and we are doing Jap uh, comp with Japanese company Uniqlo. Uh, is a big chain in Japan. Uh, do, they want to do a social business with us.